on Sailing Catalpa. We arrive at Fitzroy Island and explore under the water and right up to the summit. We get rudely awakened in the middle of the night and we arrive in Cairns. Um, we're in Cairns, we arrived in Cairns and um, we've actually put Catalpa into the marina for 10 days. We are meeting up with, well we've already met up with my dad and Chantal and Nonna and um, we're going camping. So we're going to be on the land which is really weird and um, we're going to go camping and explore some of the landingness. <laughs> um, I was a little anxious about leaving the water and leaving Catalpa but um, I can't remember the last time I drove a car. It was odd. It wouldn't have been. It was the Gold Coast. When we left, so April. Last time we had a car was April. We've left Cairns and we're heading north up to Cooktown. Which in the bay, which in Catalpa, would take us three days. <laughs> it's only going to take us four hours. So we're going to um, show you guys some of the inland parts of Northern Queensland. So we haven't been here before so this is pretty exciting for us. Cooktown is located 328 kilometres north of Cairns. So after leaving Cairns in the afternoon we arrived in Cooktown about nine o'clock that night. Set up our tents in the dark and have a weird night's sleep not rocking at all. So here's our little camp set up. We're in Cooktown. And we got here yesterday, we got here late last night. And there's Grandad. Hey Grandad. What are you doing? It's supposed to be on holidays. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One of the indicators on the hire car wasn't working. So Grandad, Mr. Fixit's fixing it so he doesn't get a fine. Oh, okay. He's fixed it. Oh, look at it go. Oh, he's so clever. <laughs> I need a plate. <laughs> get, get some freebie. <laughs> That's Mum's day off in the kitchen. Daddy, can you please grab me a plate? We're just getting Bella ready for Asia for the banana pancakes. Here. Yeah. I'll, I'll eat my banana. Yeah. Where's that? <laughs> It's not made for old people. <laughs> Tell us the story, Grandad. Well, Captain Cook came along and he hit a reef, silly man, so he had to come in and fix up his boat and he used ironwood, the same as the snake. The snake's made out of it. Cooktown is at the mouth of the Endeavour River on Cape York Peninsula in far north Queensland, where James Cook beached his ship, the Endeavour. The repairs in 1770. Both the town and Mount Cook, which rises ab above the town, were named after James Cook. So we're at Black Mountain National Park. Tell us a little bit about Black Mountain, Tash. People were injured and died trying to climb up Black Mountain. What an interesting fact. Anything else you've just got there? We, just what we need. Formed about 260 million <laughs> years ago, you know. Yeah. It's actually molten rock, it's actually solidified and slowly degenerating over time and that's what you're left with. You're full of such great facts. What a 
waterfall today. You know the name of the waterfall, Granddad? Hatfield Waterfall. Hatfield? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. I think it's called Triumphant. Triumphant? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll find out the name of it when we get there. <laughs> Are home rule falls and they're not far from Cooktown. It is a 2.6 kilometer return walk through the rainforest to the falls which takes about 45 minutes each way. We're just walking back from the falls. Um, we still don't know what they're called. But we just had a swim in the waterfall and uh, it was cold but refreshing, energizing. Hey Taj. Hello. Yes. They're called home rules. Home rules falls. So we're going uh, It's about a 45 minute walk, bush walk into the falls. And uh, it's a little late in the afternoon, so we're trying to get back before it gets dark. So we don't want to be in the dark in the bush. And that was our day. How was the false experience for you? Oh, it's bloody marvellous, darling. You look a little sweaty there, yeah, old chap. I just ran to catch up to you guys. Yeah, we're faster and way more fitter and, uh, yeah, just way more awesome. <laughs> no, we love our captain, man. Calling me granddad. <laughs> Just an old man. It's very nice. Got a shave, I reckon. I knocked 15 years. Yeah, off. you did. Look, look at him. He's shaved. Oh, isn't he beautiful? He's a beautiful man. We headed back into Cooktown and we saw some watermelons for sale, so we had to stop and buy one. Cooktown Light is an active lighthouse located on Grassy Hill above Cooktown, Queensland, Australia, on the south side of the entrance to Endeavour River. Grassy Hill was the site of Lieutenant James Cook's landing in 1770. Cooktown was established in October 1873 to accommodate the Palmer River Gold Rush. Yummy watermelon to start the day. Then we headed to Cape Bedfit. Wild West here in the outback oh, Australia. Mate, we found some shelter and decided to stop for some lunch. Sarah? I don't know. <laughs> Kate, Bedford. Kate Bedford. One of us knows where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy in the back knows where we're going. <laughs> uh, there's some coloured sand. I reckon there could be potentially some germs over here. That's what we're hoping for. We're going to hunt for some sand dunes. Guys went to the effort of going and getting sand boards. <laughs> So we've spotted some sand dunes and I think the kids are going to go over and check them out. Very quick um, 
sandboarding put together straight to the hardware store. A little bit of laminate shelving, a bit of the straps that I bought the other day to tie our load down. Got no rocker, so hopefully this doesn't go boom, flip over. What's happening over here? Granddad's making Shawnee a toboggan. She didn't want to try the You're sandboarding mine. out. <laughs> She's going surfing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down! You're going too fast! <laughs> Capture a bird, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check out these cool nests that the green ants make in the trees. You can also eat these ants. Uh, the indigenous eat them, and they're apparently really full of vitamin C. Where are we? The Cook Museum in Cooktown. So the kids are doing their schoolwork today. They're at, we're at Captain Cook's museum and they're doing a quiz. <laughs> In December 1997, the I'm gonna say this wrong and I apologise. Gugu Yimathir was the first Aboriginal nation to be granted legal recognition and ownership of their lands under the new no native title legislation. This determination recognises native title for 13 clans in 110,000 hectares of land held as a deed of grant in trust by the Hope Vale Council. This was the first medi mediated settlement of a native title claim in Australia. For the people of Hope Vale, it was a belated but welcome act of respect and recognition. <coughs> so we're on our way to the Isabella Falls. We've left Cooktown this morning and we're heading to Laura. What's your step? Wow. It's slippery. Oh, look at this. That's beautiful. We pretty much stopped at every waterfall or swimming hole that we could find. Then continued our way on to Laura. From Cooktown, Laura is 147 kilometers. So we're in crocodile country and we're hunting for a crocodile. Everyone's got to stay quiet and away from the edge of the water. You find crocodile tracks there. But it's like this, huh? Oh, crikey. And then. And there's a look, that's a 
long finger kind of cool. Yeah, and there's a, that must be, must be a toxin anyway. Pig. Like What'd you find, Belle? Skin. Hmm? A snake. What is it? Scales of a snake. Snake skin. What kind of snake do you reckon it is? Sure. Yeah, there is. Bill? Don't go underneath because he's... Yeah, it could be there. Brown snake, you reckon? Goodness? You can see where the pig snouts went in there. Oh, yeah. So this is all when it's wet, eh? Hey? In the red centre. We have. We've got roadkill. <laughs> so... This I'm just lunch. wondering what, what we want for lunch. It's like, take your pick. <laughs> Make some jerky, you reckon? But, so, Sean thought it was a pig, but um, it ended up being a buffalo. But pigs get that size. So that's insane. So that was excitement for the children. A bit gross. But we will continue on our journey. They can go in a country out here. Real Aussie adventures. Outback Australia, mate. Red dirt, dust. Diesel. Hard as hell. Diesel and dust. Diesel and dust. So we are at the Old Laura Station historic site, which is a homestead from the 1800s. We're going to go and have a little bit of a look around. Laura is a small town and located in the Cook Shire, Cape York Peninsula in northern Queensland. The old Laura homestead was originally established to provide beef for the Palmer River gold miners and became self-sufficient outposts on the frontier. The isolation of the cattle stations was only one of the difficulties faced by the early settlers. When supplies were needed, station owners could expect a two to three day ride to the nearest supply centre. However, during the wet season, roads and rivers became impassable. Due to these types of conditions, it became necessary for the cattle stations to become their own supply centres. And by 1960s, the old Laura homestead had deteriorated after renovation efforts. The outbuildings which stand today serve as a tribute to the hardy pioneers of Cape York Peninsula. I'm so thirsty. It's so hot here. In the outback, girl. What are you standing next to? An ant hill. Tell us about it. I don't know anything about that. Oh, <laughs> neither do I. That's an ant hill, everybody. They're everywhere up here. In outback Australia. And it could be someone wanting to marry or someone just wanting to hunt. So join us next time in Outback Australia as we see some more amazing waterfalls and we go jungle surfing in the Daintree.